everybody. We're on to the Bangkok Chronicles again. I'm losing track of numbers, I'm sorry. Six, I think. On the last one, I mentioned and um, talked about the handbags that I'd found, the homage handbags, not replicas, similar. In Sampeng market area. Now, I also mentioned that I did this for a couple of months, the bags. When I started um, putting these on eBay, they were selling for about £30 each. I was making £20 profit each. And for the couple of months I mentioned, I sold a lot of these bags. But like any of the online selling people, you only so many customers and the sales start dropping then and other people start selling the same things. Then I went searching and I found the Prada equivalents and the Gucci, Hello Kitty, um, all the different ones. In that two months, I generated um, a really good amount of money, a £20 a time profit, and I moved hundreds of bags in those two months, something five, six hundred pound a week, um, and more one week with those. But I knew at the time this is only going to last so long, and these trends come round. But women love handbags. I soon started realising that looking around that area, as I mentioned, I found the suitcases, the rucksacks and all the rest of it. I came across, and again in the same area, purses, wallets. Oh my, what a perfect, perfect product. If you want to buy presents for people, they're small into your suitcase, make great presents. And exactly the same as the bags. I found the Pradas, the Louis Vuittons, the Gucci's, they were all female women's purses. Again, homage. So no distinguishing marks mentioning those companies, but the same colors, the same designs. Yes, there were the replicas there with the, all the badges on and everything, but didn't want to do that. But they were great, but they were quite expensive. For what they were, considering the handbags were sort of 250, 350 baht each, these purses were similar money. Say 300 baht on average for some of them. Um, and wallets, again, loads of the wallets, exactly the same for the guys, like a diesel wallet without the D, another letter on, look the same. And all the top brands. Now I tried them. Uh, the men's wallets didn't sell that well, but the ladies' purses, oh wow, that was probably the best ever product that I put online for sale. And they were great, I was making more profit, they were smaller to post. Um, I was starting to, there was a lot of key rings and things around there, um, um, the little monkeys from... Um, the one handbag. Oh, what's a handbag called? I'm sure you're all screaming at me and shouting. <laughs> I've forgotten the name, but it's got the little monkey on it. Kipling. Kipling handbags. They were dead plain bags. Had a monkey. The monkey wasn't copyrighted. It didn't have the exact same markings on the monkeys. But the monkeys, they were 10 baht. Um, I was starting to put these with a little... Uh, note for people the ladies buying the purses and I was throwing monkeys in with the purses and little notes check out my new Kipling range or new yeah, Kipling equivalent homage range the way you worded it you had to be very careful but I started doing a bit of marketing throwing things like key rings and monkeys and things in those purses went like hotcakes I had an amazing couple of months with those now if you've got uh, access to a computer, what I've done now is I've built an interactive map that I'm starting to put these areas on the map and I will add to as I, in more detail as we go on. I've put this interactive map and a Google um, 
Street View satellite map underneath. Both of them on my website. So if you visit www.landofsmilesthailand.com, my website, menu at the top, follow it along till it says YouTube and point at it, drop down menu, click the interactive map and you'll be able to follow along and compare and see where I'm on about for these areas for buying all these products. And as we go around the products and the area of the map markets, I'll add them in with more detail as we go. It'll help you, especially if you want to either go into buying and selling and supplement your holidays or if you want to extend your holidays, if you want to live there in Thailand. Um, you've 2017, there's laws about work permits, having a business. However, if you're living there um, as a nomad or whatever, providing you don't go crazy, maybe you can buy these products and things, ship them, sell them, but if the money then goes to another country, um, I'm not sure how the law, it's a grey area. Providing you don't go crazy, you might be able to do something along those lines. But I'm pretty sure you can, if you're going to do this for a business, that you can get hold of some lawyers, work out a way of getting a business registered and get yourself a work permit under that business that might allow you to do something along these lines. Check out the uh, some of the websites out there and hopefully they'll answer the questions. So, I found myself Percy's wallets. Brilliant. It's all in that same area as the handbags. And as I was circling round and round, I then found the sunglasses. Now, everywhere in Bangkok you go, especially in the evenings, if you go to any of the entertainment zones, Nana Plaza, Soy Cowboy, and you walk down Sukhumvit Road, or you're in the bars even, you'll get people coming up to you with a handful of sunglasses, and they're all replica, Oakley, Ray-Ban, and they're trying to sell you, and they're after um, 300, 400, 500 baht for a pair of these glasses. And they're really cheap quality. The only thing that I would say that they replicate is the shape is similar, and they've got a, a badge stuck on, whether it says Ray-Ban or Ray-Bon, to get around the copyright laws. You know, an Oakley instead of Oakley. You know, they've changed the word slightly, but they're blatantly a complete replica. Um, but on the Sukhum Bit Road, you'll see stalls, hundreds of sunglasses, and they're selling them again, 300 more sometimes. You can always do a deal. The market in Salom, uh, Pat Pong night market, hundreds of sunglasses, e maybe even thousands there, and they're even higher, they're sort of 500 baht. But they've set them out not they've set them out nice on the stalls the right lighting they're clean and shiny um, and they give you a nice case with them again some of those cases have got the stamps and things on but it's the way they've presented them it's very attractive and a lot of people buy their sunglasses there on that market so there i am in sampeng i come round and there's a whole section with normal eye reading glasses and I started spotting the sunglasses now they're not right at the front of the shops some of the sunglasses the replica ones are but as you start in this area it's a wholesale area so you'll walk to the shop and the lady will give you a basket um, and tell you that you're buying 10 pairs 20 30 pairs you can't buy one pair you've got to buy a load to be able to go into her shop. Okay. I went through about 12, maybe 15 shops, and I came one which was almost right next to the main Chinatown Yawarad Road. As you turned on the left side, there was a shop. It was like a Mr. Ben shop, like the old cartoon days, kiddies program, where you'd go in the front of the shop and then there was a curtain. And as I stood in there, Somebody went through and I saw the curtain open and there was a huge amount more glasses. And I beckoned the lady, can I go in? And it was like, 
okay. I was let into the the secret cave of this one shop. Oh my, and it was full of replicas. But then, the whole one side were the identical glasses, no names on, no badges. They didn't have a little O of Oakley. They had a plain um, arms homage, homage glasses. They were perfect. They looked identical to a set of Oakleys. All the plastic ones, the frog eyes and things, identical, but no O on there and no markings. Now I thought, not sure. Will sunglasses sell online? I was in there. I had to try some. And when I asked about the price, I could have fallen over. 20 baht for a pair of the glasses. And back then, that was about 30 pence. In today's money, it's 50 pence. And I grabbed about 50 pairs of glasses. I thought, I'm going to try it. I got a complete variety, paid, big bags, and off I went. Picked up some purses, some handbags. My my condo was almost becoming like a shop, the amount of stuff I had around. Oh, but yeah, sunglasses, I thought, this is worth a try. Now, when you're on holiday, if you went to this area and bought just 10 pairs off them, what great presents they are to give to people, even if they break after a, a week or two. If you lose them, you don't feel as bad as if you lose an original pair of expensive sunglasses. Checked all over eBay, I looked at everything, looked at all the sunglasses, and it was very specific the way you worded things. You had to be very careful, and the pictures had to be accurate, showing every little detail so that the big companies, I mean all these companies, the handbag companies, sunglasses, they're always monitoring eBay and if they see somebody selling a replica, they immediately report it to eBay. So providing I put the right pictures on, every detail, the right wording, didn't cover anything as far as pointing that it looks like another. Even saying look alike didn't go down well, so you had to word it right. But I put some of these sunglasses on. Um, I also, at the time, I didn't purchase any cases with them. But the lady did give me a couple of cases as samples. And I put some sunglasses on eBay and they didn't, I didn't know the price. I was thought, try 10, 12, 14 pound. They didn't start selling. I sold a few pairs, they were trickling. But the one I put on with this nice leather case um, and I took some better pictures of it, I got £20 for that pair. That's when I tweaked the same as Pat Pong. Nice case, better pictures. At this point I realised I needed a better camera. And that's what I did. Pantit Plaza was where I went and I bought myself a, a much better camera with a higher resolution and in Pratsnam Market I bought myself some cloth, some nice dark black cloth that I put over and I made myself a little studio in my condo on a table for photographing items. Those pictures made the difference, the better quality pictures. Back to the sunglasses shop, bought a load of the leather pouches and some soft cases for all the glasses I'd already bought and they were pennies. The soft cases were two, three baht each. The leather cases, they were uh, more expensive than the glasses. They were about 40 baht each. Huge quantity, a thousand plus, I could have got them down to about 20 baht, but I didn't want to do that. But by buying the right case glasses, and again, off we go from Bangkok. Sunglasses, internet, they were selling, and I was making, on average, 12 pound pair of glasses. I found a smaller box at the post office I could use for them. They were flying. Things were just, it's just so easy if you have a nice product that's legal, present it well, sell it well, picture well, things flow. If 
Thailand would make it easier for you to get a business setup, work permit system for import export. It would be so easy for every one of us to go and live there and do this for a living. Anyway, time's gone on again. That was sunglasses briefly. Interactive map. map. Check it out on my website, landersmilesthailand.com, under the YouTube menu at the top. Have a look, see if it helps you. And we're still, we're at the moment, we're in Bangkok and I'm just going through products slowly up through Chinatown. Oh, there's loads more different products. Oh, if it gets boring all these different products, let me know in the comments below, but I need to cover them all for you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.